During an interview with Ukrinform on July 5, 2023, Oleksiy Gromov, deputy chief of the main operational department of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, discussed several topics, including the Ukrainian offensive, military operations, aid and weapons support from allied countries including a possible delivery of 13er. 155mm self-propelled howitzers from Turkey. Within the discussion of weapons that have exceeded expectations, one specific phrase drew attention, at the same time, the arrival of new systems that have not yet been used by units of the armed forces of Ukraine, such as Archer, Fertina, is expected. It is currently unknown which generation of the Turkish self-propelled, 155mm howitzer Fertina is anticipated to be seen in Ukraine. Turkey's relations with Ukraine have strengthened following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, with Turkey providing support for Ukraine's territorial integrity and assistance to Ukrainian refugees. Turkey's relationship with Russia is complex, marked by historical conflicts and occasional tensions over foreign policy differences. Turkey has played a diplomatic role in mediating the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, demonstrating efforts to foster peace in the region. Overall, Turkey's relations with Ukraine have seen positive developments, while its relationship with Russia remains nuanced. In 2020, Ukraine received 60 Bayraktar TB, two armed unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, from Turkey, with some production taking place under license in Ukraine. Turkey also delivered two Milgem frigates to Ukraine in the same year. In response to the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, Turkey increased its assistance by donating an additional seven Bayraktar TB-2 armed UAVs. Originally, these UAVs were supposed to be funded by Lithuanian, Polish, and Ukrainian private aid, but Turkey took the initiative to provide them. Additionally, Turkey supplied Ukraine with 50 second-hand Kirpi Armored Personnel Carriers APCs, in 2022. It is likely that the delivery of these APCs was planned for the period of 2022 to 2023. These military contributions from Turkey reflect its support for Ukraine during the ongoing conflict. The 13er 155mm howitzer is an important artillery system used by the Turkish armed forces. Its development began in 1995, and it entered service in 2001. The 13er howitzer has been deployed by the Turkish army in various operations, including those against PKK militants in northern Iraq from late 2007 to January 2008, near the Syrian-Turkish border in 2012, and during the Jarabulus Offensive in 2016 and the Afrin Offensive in 2018. According to the Military Balance 2022 report, the Turkish armed forces currently possess a total of 310 T-155 13 howitzers. A project led by BMC in collaboration with other Turkish companies like Aselsan, MKE, and Asfat aims to deliver a total of 140 new generation 13er howitzers to the Turkish army. On January 9, 2023, the sixth generation of the 13er 155mm tracked self-propelled howitzer was unveiled during an official ceremony attended by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Developed and manufactured by BMC Defense, this upgraded version introduces several enhancements to the platform. The sixth generation 13er focuses on improving mobility, firepower, and protection. It incorporates advancements such as a new locally produced transmission and engine, resulting in improved performance on the battlefield. The sixth generation 13er howitzer aims to provide the Turkish armed forces with an upgraded and reliable artillery system to meet evolving operational requirements.